Hey viewers, and yeah, I didn't do my usual like whole snap intro there. I just did three snaps in my hand. Yeah, I know, kind of weird. Yeah, it's because my uh, I'm I'm holding the controller in my other hand right now. I didn't feel like putting it down. Anywho, so I bring to you the Templar. Uh, it is actually a tank class. I don't like it when people try to use it otherwise because it's it kind of takes away the best way to use the class in my opinion I'm not gonna say it is like my builds I wouldn't say my builds the best yeah that's for sure I wouldn't say my build is the best because I guess I would say that only because to me the Templar kind of feels like it kind of lacks in being a tank and everything the Legionnaire I actually like the Legionnaire a lot more than the Templar and I'm about to show you why sort of so to get all the skills for this build it requires you to go all the way up to level 15 which is difficult to do right yeah so first I'm gonna run you through on getting up to level 15 one two three four five right six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15. So those are all the skills you need, all the augments that you want. And after 15, you know, you want to you want to grab your passives. I suggest deep reserves, valiant, uh, valiant, uh, valiant, valiant, mage slayer, bulwark, adamant. That's all that you want. Now here, let me actually run you through so you can actually read every skill and I'll give you my own little opinions. Shield wall. I did not realize at first that that was actually like a actual block skill, right? And then you got that which kind of speeds you up a little bit and um, any teammate or uh, another warrior or let's say an assassin or alchemist got... Before I continue on, alchemist, alchemist and Katari are going to be the last two videos I do. Because I do not like them. I do not like the Alchemist. I really do not like the Alchemist. The Katari, I do kind of like a little bit. I'll, I'll get into the Katari later. But, uh, so yeah, sh uh, Chevalier Step. <clears throat> Bulwark, you know, uh, just in short, maximum guard bonus 25%. Trust, uh, trust the steel, I almost said die. Armor bonus. Turn the blade, damage resistance, which is good. Biggest threat, only threat increases by 25%. Unbowed, and still standing. Mix that in with a uh, decent group of enemies around you, max guard instantly. Lion in the sand, this is probably the key move that you, uh, that, that kind of makes you seem like an impressive tank, if anything. You want the augment too. What this does, and it doesn't really necessarily tell you in the description, what it actually does is that it puts out like these holograms to your left and to your right. If you got the augment, it will be, um, yeah, it will be two holograms total, right? Yeah, it will be two holograms total to both sides. So, well, yeah, well, ugh. So that ends up being a total of four holograms. Yeah, okay. I, I think I had speech fell. I'm not sure if I did, but there you go. But it's awesome because it, it actually, like you, if, if you're with a team that is actually communicating, then that actually makes you serve a tanky purpose then. Because what you can do is that you can set it up in front of choke points and all that and your range characters can be behind you with like no harm coming their way this works mag magnificently if you have an elementalist with you because they could throw down a firewall right on top of you and everything normal units will not be able to pass through like archers assassins well sometimes an assassin can it's weird uh foot soldiers the guys with tower shields the arcane horrors, you know, normal sized units, you know, about the size of a regular humanoid, including rage demons. Um, but things that are taller, like brutes, behemoths, pride demons, 
uh, I'm not sure about the fear demons can or not. Um, they will just walk right through. Bosses will walk right through, too. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> so then moving on over to the divine tree. Mm. Uh, so yeah, don't get the passive on this. Just don't worry about it. Yeah. Champions of the Just, Maker's Will, Valiant, uh, that's just the uh, skill bonus, or a tribute bonus, Mage Slayer, I'll tell you about uh, Mage Slayer, uh, why, why you grab Mage Slayer, it's because of Wrath of Heaven, and I'll, I'll talk about Wrath of Heaven once I get down there, there is no darkness, damage resistance for everybody to every element, that's really useful for whenever you're going up against demons on threatening or higher uh, because rapes fire rapes to be more specific those things do a crap load of damage and it's so annoying bear mauls the wolves so you can't get flanked deep reserves so you can keep your stamina up the last sacrifice that's only for when you go down you know all, all your teammates get a uh, get their health restored and they get a little bit of damage buff but uh l before i actually talk about wrath of heaven and go down to that I'll, I'll put it down on wrath of heaven though um deep reserves very useful especially like it's also useful on legionnaire um it's actually useful on, on any warrior class but uh like <sighs> For blocking abilities and everything, every time you block an attack, you lose stamina. And the thing is, while you're holding down block though, you will not regenerate stamina. So once your stamina falls below 50% while you're blocking, you know, you can kind of release your block and it'll just start popping up really quickly and you just get right back into a block once again. But the thing is, if, if you have no stamina, you try blocking an attack, boom, you take damage at that point then. I'm not sure if it's bone, if, if you take extra damage or not, so. That's just something to be careful about. You really gotta watch your stamina meter whenever you're using either Templar or the Legionnaire. Not so much as Legionnaire, and I actually have an experimental build with Legionnaire to tell you about. Not one that I use, but just to tell you about. And it's not that much different from uh, the regular build. But so, Wrath of Heaven here. You summon a blinding pillar of light that stuns nearby enemies and damages demons. Damages demons. And the augment for 300% damage on demons. And stun duration bonus 2 seconds, right? So that becomes 6 seconds and 700% weapon damage. The stun's amazing. Just downright. The stun is amazing. It really helps you kind of manage enemies a little bit better and everything. But, um... Also makes you do decent damage, but it's only weapon damage and so well, I mean yeah everything's pretty much based off weapon damage. And you're using the one-handed weapons, which aren't that spectacular on, on damage. They ha they have high DPS, right? But that's damage per second. That's not what you want to pay attention to if you actually really want to see what's the max damage you can end up doing with whatever weapon you're, you're using. You gotta pay attention to what it says to actual damage underneath. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> and so, uh, Wrath of Heaven, really good. Now, why I kind of feel like the Templar isn't that good of a tank? Because most of the time when I was using it, I don't put out enough damage. So, I don't really get that much aggro. I can't taunt en enemies to come towards me. Sure, I could get challenge, right? But that's only a single target. That's only one. And the cooldown time is 16 seconds. That's 16 seconds is essentially half the fight most of the time. So, I mean, what would you want to give up unbowed instead, which can give you even more guard, more survivability? No, don't do that. So that kind of just makes the, the the Templar. I mean. It's not that good of a tank. And a lot of people like to say, oh, the Templar is so good. I mean, hell, even before, even before I started playing the Templar and the Legionnaire, I was only kind of watching from the distance and see how the Templar is and the Legionnaire is. I guess I've been seeing a lot of misbuilt Legionnaires. And 
properly built Templars, like the build I'm showing you now, it made the Templars just seem like such a good tank. It really did. I mean, you have to be with a really good team, a team that you communicate with, to really try to maximize your tankiness. But otherwise, if you're not, if you're just playing with pugs, then it sucks for you. I was happy I made my way through the Templar, and I'm going to actually dread getting my Templar back up to 20 for you guys. I'm sorry to say that, but I'm going to dread doing it. Well, sort of. I mean, I'll have Merlin and Julian with me. But, yeah. <clears throat> now, there was something I did want to uh, show to you on my Reaver video. And when Julian was sending me an invite, it kind of threw me off. I want to show you my inventory a little bit. For armor upgrades and everything on Templar, I actually use the Faith one right here. But, I like to actually give a Constitution bonus to pretty much all my Warriors. Well, not, not my Legionnaire, and you'll see why, but... To all my warriors, uh, to Katari, Templar, definitely the Reaver. You know, that, that's, that's bonus melee defense, and I'm not sure if it's ranged defense. I'm not sure. I think it is. But that, that's bonus defense of either melee or range. And health. And you're out in the fray, and you're supposed to be trying to g gather aggro most of the time and everything, and you need that health. And the armor naturally comes with plus 2% melee defense. But then you have that plus 8% magic defense is what I go for on the Templar. And that's because I hate I hate fire rays. I hate demons. I hate getting hit by magic when playing as a Templar or any class, actually, because it sucks. It does. Yeah. And on the um, Dread Reaver, uh, on my Reaver armor... Yeah, I had a plus 16 constitution. Man, I was so lucky with that. And I was really lucky to get that plus 18% heal bonus. Yeah, that means now... And I just got that today, by the way. Uh, that means now, though, that whenever I sap health, I'm sapping even more health. And that is... That, I can't... I, I, I cannot describe to you how happy that makes me feel. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so that's this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I did. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, I'm not sure who I'm going to do. I'm going to say, well, I'm doing Warriors right now. I guess I'll end with Katari. And then I got to do Rose, which I'll end with the Alchemist. But yeah, uh, I'm going to the Legionnaire next. And I am excited to actually bring you my Legionnaire build. So comment, share, subscribe, please. Do that last part. Subscribe. Yeah, that'd be awesome of you. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.